Now, thanks for being with us. I'm J.R. Beer. And I'm Darcy Strickland. Our newscast may be interrupted within the next several minutes because we are expected to hear from the President of the United States on an update on the coronavirus. And that is how we begin tonight with updates from state health leaders on the virus in South Carolina. A seventh presumed positive case announced just this afternoon. We also got confirmation on the two cases we first told you about last week. The CDC confirming it is indeed the coronavirus. News 19's Jacob Reynolds is at the emergency management headquarters. He joins us now with the very latest. Jacob. Darcy J.R. Dehack and the governor giving an update on that seventh case also in Kershaw County from someone who had face to face contact with one of the earlier cases we've already reported. But in case the president cuts into our show tonight, I am going to roll sound uh, from the press conference that we heard uh, just about a few hours ago. There's no cause for public alarm or speculation. Schools will remain open. Schools will remain open. And state government offices in all 46 counties will also stay open. South Carolinians should continue their normal daily routines and responsibilities. It's important to remember that each individual, each of us, is responsible for their own actions and personal hygiene. That's for our own benefit, your own benefit, and that of the community. All South Carolinians should continue to follow the recommendations and information provided by the official sources, and you've all heard it and seen it over and over. Cover your cough for sneezes. Wash your hands with soap and warm water throughout the day. If you feel sick, stay home and contact your daughter, your, excuse me, your doctor. We're um, asking people to avoid crowds if they have symptoms. If we're in a community where we don't have evidence of ongoing spread, which is not the case in uh, Columbia area, for example, so there's no reason to alter our uh, routine activities. There's no reason at this time to cancel any public events or take any special measures when there is no evidence of ongoing spread in a community. Governor McMaster asked the FDA today to make sure they would consider and expedite that request. So we hope to see MUSC come on board. And the nice thing about that, the benefit is, the more centers we have, it reduces the congestion of only having one site that is processing. Of course, we have only tested 31, so we're not overwhelmed. We have the capability of doing many more than that every day. And just a making an assumption that there might be a follow-up question, we have sufficient supplies for those tests. People refer to them as test kits. Test kits are for the labs, and each kit for us provides opportunity for 500 tests. So we have one test kit and a second one. So we have the capability of over 1,000 tests at this point in time, and again, we've tested 31. And we have additional labs coming online for testing as well, and they will have the, kit, the test kits as well. And Darcy and JR, those 31 tests, the 24 negative, which we've reported on so far, and those seven presumptive positive, two of those positives now confirmed by the CDC. A few other notes. The governor was very adamant, saying there was no reason to close state offices or the schools at this time, saying those decisions would be made by him. And he said there was no reason to do that. And also, you heard from Dr. Linda Bell there with the, C, the with, uh, DHEC, who said they had no reason to cancel public events in areas where they're not seeing that community spread. Now, they are starting to see evidence of community spread in Kershaw. That's where a majority of these cases are starting to come from. But like they said, they're urging the public in South Carolina to continue going about their daily routines, but practicing those hygiene techniques they've been telling people, covering coughs and sneezes and washing hands regularly with uh, warm water and soap. And so that's the update from DHEC and the governor tonight as they continue to urge the public of South Carolina not to panic. Reporting live here at SCEMD, I'm Jacob Reynolds.